It is time to try the build once again. So I've been really, really liking to go this Rage Knife item. It is super, super broken. Rage Knife into uh, Rage Blade because of how just cracked this item is with Tark's passive. But, uh, however, when it comes to doing a perma stun build, there's actually an item that works much better, and that's Navori. Because it doesn't have, uh, it's not attacks on crits anymore, it's attacks flat reduce your non-ability cooldown. So this means that if you stun and then you immediately get an auto off, you refresh so much of your E that you can start perma stun. And uh, so the idea is to go Navori into like full tank. So I'm looking at this team, this full AD team in a tank. I think I'm going to try to go just uh, like uh, Navori, Frozen Heart, Fimble, and like Cleaver or something, just to get as much CDR as possible. Because once I start perma stunning. Uh, I'm just going to take over the game. But I, it's uh, the sacrifice is it has a worse clear speed than Rage Blade. And it also uh, is very squishy early on. Navori actually breaks Tarek's Q. At least as far as I know. Navori breaks Tarek's Q... So that uh, it simply uh, does not work, and it, it I, like it fills a stack, but it doesn't come off of cooldown. So you have to basically do a new combo. That instead of doing Q E Q W Q E Q W, you do E Q E W E Q E W, and that fixes the problem of the Q breaking, where you stop spamming Q as much and you start spamming basically E and use W to fill the gap. E is the new Q, basically, yeah. A little in their eyes. Huh. Huh. Sometimes life is worth dying. E auto auto E auto auto E auto oh, yes, that's exactly right. Gems are wonderful distractions. I may be merciful, but Targon is it. Wow, is he just like a psychic or what? Fuck. I didn't do enough damage. I thought I would get that kill. I guess the grasp saved him. I really just backed off too early. Never helped win a fight, but it never hurt. I, it's vain, so this is going to be an impossible, but I'm going to try it anyway. So. The stars were the question. I was the answer. An ally has been slain. <laughs> Oh, it works. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. The stars free me well. from myself. I should have autoed and tried to kill, but oh, she's just so blind. Ah, oh, man. That's so fucked up. She 
just doesn't see the piking like just running for me. If I had a if I had leveled Q at three, I would have lived. The mountain's question is unique for each of us. I'm just gonna look for immediate dragon. to do it. We uh, managed to kill him. I just very briefly hit a uh, minion to keep the djinn alive there. Blind them without huh. My heart is filled with star. I give it freely to all. I just go look bot. We're all headed toward the same inevitable end. No this is 100% turning into Fimble Winter later. But I'm probably going Frozen Art first. because of lag and uh, also the E knockback. I think we could maybe keep going. I'm just gonna leave. I have I'm way too low to even think about that. Do I go top and help? I think I might, but I think she's already dead. Or I'm just not gonna make it in time because I get just interrupted. Just as the mountain is eternal, so I'd really like to get Navori immediately. 
Although boots would be even better. This could be really bad if Kane finds me. Or even Cho'Gath finds me. Cho can just steal the Herald. So I have to just try to not get one shot by this uh, Cho'Gath. I could have heralded for a little bit more gold, but I just want to pick this up already. Maybe even herald bot. What does new Devori actually do? It reduces your non-ult ability cooldowns, and so you can stun, and you can keep stunning, and you can keep stunning, and you can keep stunning, can keep stunning over and over again. So it's... E auto auto Q auto auto E auto auto W auto auto and look I'm doing this without anything so I, I already have a four rotation uh, with one singular item I have a four rotation uh, stun E auto auto Q auto auto E auto auto W auto auto so I just stun so much I I guess I just have to like, the question is, do I just, do I turn on Vayne? Like, I could have, I could have, I should have, I should have, actually. But I just, uh, I don't have boots. So if I fuck up, it's going to be impossible to deal with Vayne. So I got to wait for her to see if she moves. She might not move. The problem is that you can't Q-spam. So I got to E auto auto, W auto auto. I don't have any abilities up there. It's really sad. But at least I get at least I get that for now. Right, you have to be really careful on how you're using your abilities this because if you fuck up you will actually just not have any abilities possible to use but getting this helps me so much getting if, if you have Navori build and you go hex tech dragon you like literally just win the game because I just do so much. Uh, I have so much CDR and uh, everything to work with that I'm going to get just really close to perma stunning. Here will be a good, good thing to test it on. Okay, well, if I if I can't Q spam, <laughs> I can't Q spam. That's like I have to just learn that I can't Q spam at all, and that he can actually kill me there. Oh my God! Even he has Navori. Kane has Navori too. Oh, I forgot the Herald too. That's that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to try to use it as soon as I spawn. God, seriously? Oh, I didn't get the Herald off! That's so sad. But now I think I'm gonna go Frozen Heart. And actually, weirdly enough, maybe go the mana side of it first into an eventual Fimble. Because they're just so AD heavy. The mountain 
reveals I told this is a you know, rage blade. I mean, I could have I could have considered looking for that. Okay, I'm just like totally stuck and they're not helping me by dealing damage to either person. They're just kind of standing there. Essence Reaver be good with Navori? No. You gotta stop thinking about the crit. Stop thinking about the crit part of Navori. It doesn't matter anymore. Yes, your ability is up to deal up to 4% increased damage on crit strike chance, but we don't care about that at all because we have one ability that deals damage. And, uh, you know, why would we build crit? We're not a crit champion. We're only going it for the auto reset. That's it. They see beauty in us. Man, can you like engage on him, please? The silence fucks me up so hard, though. But as you can see, he gets stunned a lot and dies. The, basically, the main issue with this build is that it's just not tanky early. But once you pick up some tank items, it just becomes. So ridiculous. Reaver is good for the mana, though. Yeah, but why would you go Navori uh, Essence Reaver on Tar? You would die in like half a second. Demacia was my home. Like you can, you can go in a, like you can go like Essence Reaver. Like Essence Reaver Rush is is a, it's fine, right? If you want to go tier list, it's an option. But like you have to go tank after that. You can't just go full damage. The best weapons are beautiful. Your team has destroyed a turret. Fight off! Sometimes, life is worth dying. I mean, I may be murdered. You know what? I I guess I wasted all on that Caitlyn that I couldn't possibly save. The fight never ends. Back in the glow. Maybe I could have kept going. I should have kept going. Always go blue smite for mobility, yes. Let me show you something. The mountain's question is unique for each of us. Gems hurt, don't 
Alright, I can get Frozen Heart now. It seems like I'm kind of even, but realistically, I am super fed right now. It doesn't look like it, but I'm at two items. I have 83 ability haste right now. Like, I think I could probably start cycling. Why did- why was that already aggroed? Why was it aggroed before I even got to it? I am no longer a man. Okay, I gotta I gotta get used to the three cycle. I should just oh, I should just go for it. The mountain endures. Literally my stun is up so much. It is crazy. My heart is filled with starlight. I give it freedom to all. Yeah, why is this thing like what is it? The frozen heart aura is causing them to be like frozen heart aura is ag like aggroing camps for some reason. Oh, I just let him steal that. Come back here. Yeah, tell me that wasn't broken just now. The heavens strike swift. For beauty. So now I can uh try to finish Fimble too. I'm just gonna be super cracked. The mountain showed me Frozen Heart Aura now aggros. I don't know why, but I I'm kind of okay with that actually. I'm just I really gotta get used to this. Camps are just walking at me every time. Also, I'd like to farm for Fimble. Okay, I now have uh, a lot of resistance and ability haste. I just need to uh, make sure that I can stun people. Yeah, um, this clear is kind of strange, but, uh, it is kind of wild also. If you ever get stunned by Tarek, you die. That's basically what happens. Well, as long as Tarek can auto. I just have to take a guess, right? Silence, that's the only problem. <laughs> this is illegal. <laughs> this is this is uh this might be a little bit uh broken, right? 
Thank you for the fantastic build idea. Even, you know, I'm not even going to tell them about the fact that Navori breaks Tark's Q. It's literally just better not to tell them at all. I'll just go Fimble or uh, Kindle Gem with whatever I want. You know, ideally you'd turn this into a, like a magic resist item, like you'd go Visage or something. Uh, I honestly could go like Chains. Or just another Kindle Gem right away would be even better. I'm just waiting. You know what? Nah. Come on, Vayne. Come here, man. Back in the glow. Love is simply beauty Okay. In the end, the only regret the champion we did it. An ally has been slain. What has Riot done? What have you done? What have you done? Human life is fleeting. It's funny because this is still the Tarek's normal combo. Look how many stuns I'm throwing. This is so stupid. The mountain reveals the harshest truths in our souls. Crack their resolve. Gems are wonderful distractions. I mean, sure, I'll grab chains. I don't even know who I'd put it on. They're all AD. Even the even the Cho guys went Titanic. Okay, uh, I guess Vayne, but it doesn't apply to Vayne's true damage. And also, Vayne is 1 in 8, so what am I even thinking? Kane would be a good idea, yeah. Oh, come back, Cho'Gath. You won't, you won't make it past, past this wall, honestly. The fight never ends. I have seen the light of the Whoever feels dark. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Okay. Yeah, this is uh this is pretty broken. If I get anything to auto attack, it doesn't even matter. Like you could do this with phase rush. You don't even have to do it with lethal. If you need to be more safe, you could do it with either. Right? Because like, lethal is great and all, but it only works if I actually have something to auto that's a champion. If you auto anything else, you could literally just go this with Phase Rush. And get even more CDR from Transcendence. Uh, huh. That was... That was a very fascinating game.
<clears throat> okay. I don't know how much CC I did, but uh, I did a lot that game. Is there any way to see, like, my CC score? I think it's in here, right? Where I can see it about... Oh no, I can't see it. Damn. Oh wait, here we go. Ah, there we go, 65, nice. Somehow I even lost to Cho. Don't know how, but... 